All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking monitor calibration and in particular the Data Color Spider X Pro. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Coins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you tuning into this video. So today, we're gonna be looking at the Data Color Spider X Pro, an advanced monitor calibration tool. So this automatically calibrates your monitor, so the colors that you're looking at are the colors that you should be looking at. Now with all the different social media platforms, you haven't got ultimate control over all the colors and compression that these platforms use, but you do have control over the colors that leave your screen. So calibrating your monitor can really make a difference to your photos or your videos so highly suggest giving it a go. Now I must admit I'm pretty late to the game myself. This is gonna be the first time that I use one of these to calibrate my monitor. But the good people at Data Color have sent me this Spider X Pro. So I'm gonna give it a go and guide you through the setup. So this is designed for computer monitors, MacBook Pros, those types of devices, not phones or iPads or those sort of things. Those you can't really calibrate anyway. Uh, they calibrate themselves and they're usually pretty good to be fair so this is more designed for your monitors that you work on or your Macs. Inside the box itself is this little card just shows you where to download the software from. Okay but I'm going to leave links in the description anyway and if you do purchase this then obviously this comes in the box. And then in the box itself we have the Spider X. Pro. So this is what it looks like. It's got a USB cable attachment which you're going to plug into your USB. The actual Spider X Pro comes apart as such. I'll show you what we do with that in a minute. So let's download and install the software first of all and we will go from there. First things first we're going to type in the old web address. Okay and then it will bring you to the Data Color Spider X website. Okay. So, if we have a look on this website, um, it'll give you a few instructions to start off with. Warm up your monitor. My monitor has been on pretty much all day, so don't need to worry about that. Download, install and activate software. Okay. So, if you want to look at the license, then you can click here and it will take you to the license. That you can have a look at what you're signing up to. And then you want to go and find the Spider X Pro and whether you're using Windows or Mac. So I'm using Windows, I'm using my PC, so I'm going to click on Windows software, download the software. Okay, then when that's downloaded, we're just going to run the software. So, okay, next, 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 you know the drill, next. Okay, so it says setup has finished copying files to your computer. Please plug in the Spider before launching Spider X Pro. So. We're just going to plug our Spider X doofer thing. I'm going to plug it straight into my USB port. And then I'm just going to click next. And now I'm just going to run the Spider X Pro software. And then it's just going to walk you through what you need to do. So, warm up. Have you allowed your display to warm up for half an hour? Yes, I have. Lighting conditions, have you checked there's no intense light falling directly on your display screen? Now I've got a light on here at me, but it's not actually pointing at the screen, so we should be all right. But if you do have lights on in the room, you may need to turn them off when you calibrate your screen. Have you reset your monitor settings? If you've got any fancy settings on your monitor, then restore them to default settings. I've pretty much left it at default anyway, so I don't need to worry about that. Plug the spider into a computer USB port, not a hub or keyboard. So try and plug it directly into your computer, not a hub. I think it probably would work in a hub, but that's what it's telling us to do anyway. So we're gonna to go to next. Okay, please select backlight. Standard LED will be most people's choice, but obviously if you've got wide LED or any of the others, then have a read through and obviously choose the one that's relevant to your monitor. We're going to go with standard LED. Next, select from this list how you want to calibrate. I'm going to go for the full calibration. I can't see why you would go with any of the other ones really, but we're going to go with full cal. Next, okay. So this is where we get to use our doofer thing. Place the spider on the desk as shown below. Well, you just place it on the desk. Click next. Okay, so it's actually telling me that 
the room light is high. So what I'm gonna do while I calibrate this is switch this light off. I'm gonna plunge me into darkness. That's okay, because you don't really need to see me for this setup anyway. So I'm just gonna turn this light off now. Okay, so that light's now off. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna click next. And now it's telling me that the room light is very low, which is good for the calibration process, I think. So I'm gonna to go to accept recommended settings next. Okay, so this is where it gets fun and interesting. So take this apart and this kind of acts as a, a counterweight for when you drop this over the screen. Okay, and then you're gonna drop this over the screen and line it up with the one on the screen. Then we're going to go to next and it's going to start doing the old disco thing. At the moment it's telling me that my screen's too bright so this is where I'm just going to go. We need to get our screen brightness down. Target is 90 and we're at 130 at the moment so Let's go to our menu brightness and we're just going to bring that down a little bit and then we're going to go click on update okay so it's still a bit bright so we're again we're going to go to menu go to brightness and we're going to bring that down a little bit more click on update again okay well, we're nearly there just a tiny bit more Okay, and now we're within the parameters, so we're going to click and go to continue. Okay, and now it's going to do more of its thing. So this will probably take a little while. Just going to run through all the different colors and make sure your screen is getting set up for you. Okay, it says telling me that the measuring is complete. Please remove your spider and click finish. So I could take this off my screen and I'm going to click finish. Name and save your new profile. So I'm just going to call it. Spider March 2021. And then you can set your calibration reminder for days, weeks, months. I'm going to set it for two months and then it will remind me that I need to recalibrate my screen in two months. Okay, and then I'm going to go to save and then next. Okay, so uh, this is what our screen now looks like calibrated. And then if you click switch, it will take you to the uncalibrated view. So there's quite a difference. Um, the calibrated view is much greener. The uncalibrated view is redder and brighter. The calibrated view is looks greener to me, but that's probably just because my eyes need to adjust to this new screen. So yeah, big difference. So if that's the case, I need to go and re-edit all my videos. Okay, one thing I didn't show you in this video, because I'll be honest with you, I had already installed this before just to have a look at it, and I've already put the registration number in, but it will ask you for registration number, and you'll find that in the box itself. And then you just type that in, it's quite straightforward, but yeah, you will need to do that. And then what you can do if you've got multiple screens, is you can use the software, it gives you the option to transfer the information onto the other screens and then you calibrate all your screens so they've all got the same calibration which is great and you can do it all with the same license so the Spider X is registered to you so you can use it on all your machines so this retails in the UK at the moment about £149 like I say it's a one-off payment and then you can calibrate your screen every couple of months so definitely a good investment and then obviously you can use the website, contact their customer support via the website. So your license sets you up with all that as well. 
Now obviously this doesn't compensate for getting your colors and white balance right in camera. You should do that anyway. This is more for when you're editing your footage afterwards. That's it for this one. I really hope you found it useful. I'll leave links below to where you can get hold of the Datacolor Spider X Pro. Thanks to the guys at Datacolor for sending this for a review. If you have enjoyed this video and found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've calibrated your monitor and if you use a Spider X or something different. If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday, audio and visual gear reviews, Premiere Pro tutorials, After Effects tutorials, drone tutorials, all that sort of thing. So anything to help you with filmmaking. If you're already subscribed to the channel, appreciate you as always, and make sure that you've turned on notifications so I can let you know when new content is released. That's it for this one. Hope you found it useful. I'll catch you in the next one.